Hey YouTube, Chris here from Underleveled. I know I'm wearing the, the glasses that reflect everything. My eyes are still a little messed up right now, so it'll, it'll I'll take them off and you know show you guys my pretty eyes uh, when they start feeling a little bit better. Just wanted to make a quick video really quick. As some of you know, I'm a huge fan of Boulder's Gate 3 and everything Larian Studios is doing. Um, but I had an issue when first loading into patch 6 of Boulder's Gate 3. And I just wanted to bring it to your guys' attention and hopefully it'll help someone else. So when I installed it, I didn't realize that it already had the AMD FSR enabled. As you can see, you know, they added support to AMD FSR and DLSS 2.3, and I believe that's for like NVIDIA graphics cards. Not sure if this issue um, is you know applicable to DLSS, but so far from what I've seen, it's just AMD FSR. So I wanted to show you guys uh, what my issue is. And in case anyone doesn't know, because I certainly didn't, uh, AMD FSR is AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, and you know it's supposed to you know increase your frame rates while delivering high quality, high resolution gaming experiences. Um, that's really cool, but I don't know if it's just with Baldur's Gate 3 because I don't really play that many games. But you know, I'll show you guys right now. So let's hop into the game and I'll show you guys where I was having the issue. So one of the big draws with patch, patch 6 from Baldur's Gate 3 is their almost overhaul of their graphics. And you know, from what we saw on the stream, everything looked beautiful. However, some of you, like me, might jump into Baldur's Gate 3, excited to play as a sorcerer, and see this. I'm sure you guys can see it, everything kind of looks a little, a little blurry. Almost a little smudgy and you might see this and be like yo is my graphics card broken do I need to update my drivers oh wait they're already updated what's going on so me and with my computer illiteracy jumped in started playing around with some settings and realized AMD FSR like okay I don't know what this is except when I did it it was you know, I think it was set to quality or something, but I'm going to quickly show you guys the difference between all of the AMD FSR uh, presets, and I'll show you what the game looks like without it. So what we originally saw, this is on performance mode. Now let's go ahead and let's go through them all. This is um, with AMD uh, FSR... Uh, balanced now let's go on to the next so it's starting to look a little bit better this is on quality setting again looking a little bit better getting some of that detail back and this is AMD FSR with its highest quality setting you know it doesn't look that bad you can still kind of see a little of the smudginess around around the face not not nearly as bad as the other ones so for a lot of people, uh, quality or their high quality preset um, might be enough. And especially if you're streaming, you know, it might help um, with your FPS dip. Especially if you don't have like a top tier graphics card like me. And then this is with it off. Me personally, I prefer this. I think it looks better. Uh, for some people, you know, maybe you won't be able to tell that much of a difference, or it's not that big of a deal. And in reality, it isn't, but I know when I play Baldur's Gate 3, I, you know, want, uh, you know, especially if they updated the graphics, you know, I want it to be of the highest quality. And I know some people might jump into their game and somehow AMD FSR is already activated. And you might see the blurry graphics and start to kind of freak out like I did. Don't worry, just turn off AMD FSR or just set it to, you know, set it to one of the higher qualities. 
it'll either be tolerable or you turn it off and you can see Baldur's Gate 3 in all of its glory with its overhauled graphics. But that being said, probably not the biggest deal. I'm sure millions of people um, already knew about AMD FSR. Don't really need this video, but hey, you might have a friend who's computer illiterate like this guy might flip open their game, complain about the graphics, you can just toss them this video and not even have to bother explaining anything to them. So I hope this helped you guys out. Only reason why I made this video is the Boulders Gate 3 community I'm a part of. I made a post about it, trying to find a solution, and it seemed like other people were having similar issues. So I hope this helps. If it did, comment below. If it didn't, you know, thumbs down the video if you want. Regardless, Thanks for all the support, and have a good day.